In these problems, they're telling us to use rounded numbers to estimate an answer. And the idea here is that this, these are calculations you could do really quickly in your head when you don't need to be perfectly accurate. I know you could do the addition here on paper or plug it into a calculator and get the quote right answer, but in this case the right answer is not adding those things precisely together. It's rounding first and then adding. What we want to do, since we have hundreds here, 550 and 933, we want to round each of those to the nearest hundred. To round this 500 to the nearest hundred, we look at the next digit over. If it's a five or above, we round up to the next hundred, so that's going to be 600. Same with the 900, we take a look at the next digit over. If it's less than five, we round down, so that goes to 900. And we add those together, and you probably can do this pretty quickly in your head. Six plus nine is 15, so this is 1500. So what you get here is a ballpark answer really quickly. That's the benefit of rounding to estimate. Here we have 36 and 53. These are tens, 30, 50. So I'm going to round to the nearest tens digit. So this three, I look at the next digit over, there's a six, so I have to round up. So that becomes 40. And the 50, the next digit over is a three. That's less than five, so I round down to 50. And now I get 40 times 50, which is a lot easier to figure out. But in case that still might um, uh, make you stick here, when we're doing multiplication, and you have um, a number like this with a zero after it and another number with a zero after it, you can multiply the number, four times five is 20, and then just put on the number of zeros that you sort of ignored in the first place. So 40 times 50 is 2,000, which is a pretty good estimate for 36 times 53. All right, last one. We have 25 times 81. Rounding to the tens, 25 will round up to 30, and 81 will round down to 80, and now I'll do 3 times 8 is 24, and then stick both those zeros on, and we get 2,400. So that is how to use rounded numbers to quickly estimate an answer.